<laughs> you say you at that point. Hello. Hi. 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 Hey. Yeah. Quick question. Are you? Are you Hi. Oh, I don't know. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. I don't need it right this minute. Yeah, I'll give it to you. you okay. Know, I'll be here sometime tomorrow, yeah. Oh, okay, I'll give it yeah, to you. Yeah, she just wanted to make sure I asked her about it. Okay, great. Okay. Yep, I'll give it to you. All right, perfect. Yep. Thank you. Set the captive free, reverse conditioning, and to things that are going on in our lives. Yes. Give 
give us strength, Lord, that we may serve thee and live with thee in a marvelous and a better way. Lord, we pray that you would save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. Come to all grief families in the name of Jesus. Remember the sick and afflicted in the shut in. Hallelujah, Lord. Send forth your glory, send forth your might, send forth your Holy Ghost anointing that will heal, that will deliver, that will set free. Father, we thank you and praise you. Give you glory and honor. Bless our service on tonight. Grant the door of others. Grant us words, Lord, to speak unto your people. Let the Holy Ghost use us. Father, we thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 We certainly uh, praise God and thank God once again for his grace and his mercy and his love that he has shown toward us. It is uh, incumbent upon us never to take the Lord for granted. And uh, we daily, daily walk with him. Get about and minimize the presence of until uh, you realize that the presence ain't there no more. Right. You miss it. So let us let us always be mindful of the Lord Amen. and mindful of His presence mm -hmm. and show our appreciation unto Him by the lives that we live. Amen. 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 All right. So I want you to turn with me over. To the book of First Timothy, First Timothy, chapter number four. Amen. First Timothy, chapter number four. And if you have it, you say Amen. Amen. First Timothy, chapter number four. All right. We're going to start reading at verse number one. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, mm -hmm. speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, mm -hmm. forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Amen. So the, the purpose and the reason why we definitely came to this particular chapter, to this particular uh, book, was the Lord wants us to be aware of something. Be aware of something and to be cognizant, to be uh, aware of what's going on in the latter times. Amen. And these are certainly the latter times. And uh, when, we, uh, when we get down further into the scripture, Paul is encouraging Timothy to put people in remembrance of these things. It's good for us to remember the Lord and the teaching that has been instilled in us down through the years. And uh, it says in that first verse, now the Spirit speaking expressed. So he's really talking about the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, which is the Spirit of God. And what, what is key to understand is the Holy Ghost will speak to you. It will speak to you. And its purpose is to speak to you and to lead you and guide you into all truth. If any, if any, if any, uh, the Holy Ghost is described as a person in the scripture, so I'm going to do that as well. If anybody needs to listen to anyone, it's the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Give it preeminence and predominance in one's hearing. Amen. Amen. Because the Holy Ghost is not going to lie to you. No. Uh, it's going to speak to you in truth. Amen. 
And the Holy Ghost is that, that speaks to you is really a manifestation of the voice of Jesus Christ in your mind. And, and let's go over here real quick uh, where our foundational scripture is in 1 Timothy chapter number 4, verse 1. But we're talking about how the Holy Ghost speaks expressly. And let's go over to the book of, uh, of uh, John, the book of John, chapter 16. You have to say amen. Yeah. And these are the last words of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The dying words of Jesus. Mm -hmm. So we ought to give heed to the declaration of anybody's last dying words. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Jesus is, is trying to encourage his people. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. To encourage us. Help us. Mm -hmm. Amen. So when we look at uh, St. John, and I want you to drop down to verse uh, 2 John 16 and drop down to verse 13. Talking about the Holy Ghost speaking express. Amen. All right, read. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, uh -huh. he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, mm -hmm. but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. Now, the Holy Ghost, he described the Holy Ghost as a he. That's why I said it's good to put the uh, magnify the Holy Ghost as a person. And it says, But when he, the Spirit of truth, is come unto you. When you're operating in the Spirit of truth, the Spirit of truth, the Holy Ghost, it leads you and guides you into what? All truth. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, and and, and it, it leads you and guides you into the truth of God's word. Yeah. Amen? In fact, Jesus says himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen? He that cometh unto me must uh, do what? Believe. <laughs> Amen? You got to believe. Yes. Am I right? Uh, we believe that he is and that he's a reward uh, to them that do what? Diligently, Diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. And notice, he says, How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into what? All truth. All truth. Not partial truth, uh, but what? All truth. As we say uh, sometimes, the whole truth uh, uh, and nothing but the truth. Uh, amen? amen. And that's what the Holy Ghost does. Right. It gives you the whole truth, not partial truth. The devil, he'll tell you partial truth. When, <laughs> when, when he was dealing with Jesus, and he said, and Jesus went up on the pinnacle of the mountain, uh, and he said, jump off! You know, the angels of bed here, at least she dashed her foot against the truck. In fact, he was telling them the truth. Yeah. Uh, but Jesus understood, you didn't tell me the whole truth. Because thou shalt not tell the Lord God. That's right. That's, right. Uh, that's the whole truth. That's right. Amen. <laughs> that's right. Am I right? Amen. 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 So, so he said, he said, I'll be it. When he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. No, for he shall not speak of himself. Mm -hmm. uh, the Holy Ghost is not giving you what's in its mind or his mind, but it's giving you the mind of Christ yes. yep. uh, is revealing to you what's in the heart of the Father. Right. Am I right? right. Uh, to lead you and guide you in it. Yes. Uh, because the Holy Ghost knows the way. Yes. Am I right? Yes. The Holy Ghost is where we try to go. Yes. Uh, so we know. So, so when, when the Holy Ghost speaks, like they said, like, as, or they used to say, uh, when he of us speaks, people what? Uh, when the Holy Ghost speaks to us, speaks to our mind, uh, we should do what? Listen. Listen. Amen? Mm -hmm. And the Holy Ghost is not going to speak to us contrary to the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. People get a whole lot of ideas. <laughs> mm -hmm. and some of the ideas is contrary to the Word of God. Yes. The Bible says, try to speak. 
can be led by the unction yeah. of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You know, and it'll talk to you. Yeah. It'll speak to your mind and let you know whether you're going in the right way or the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. But, and we, have to, but we have to let it lead and guide us. We should not surrender, submit. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and it'll speak to you in that still, small voice. Amen. Uh, the more you hear and obey, the more uh, influence the Holy Ghost will have over you. Uh, and the better off you'll be. Amen. Uh, the Holy Ghost reasons with your life through the scriptures, through the word of God. Amen. Uh, that's why you got to have the word in you. Because the Holy Ghost feeds off the word. Uh, brings the word back to your remembrance. Uh, brings, brings the power of the word back to your remembrance. Uh, to, to guide you into the truth of what God has said. Because there are a lot of spirits out there uh, uh, that we, we, we can't give heed to. Uh, uh, but we have to know the voice of the Holy Ghost. Jesus says, my sheep know my voice. Uh, and another one, they won't hear. And that, and that they won't hear means they won't obey. Uh, because there's a lot of voices that come to our mind. Uh, uh, even our own mind. Uh, uh, that we got to, we got to reject if it's not uh, lining up with the word of God. And we, I got I got to know the gift. Amen. I got to know the gift. I got to know the gift. Amen. Read that first verse. 
the Holy Ghost speaks distinctly and clearly. Amen. It'll speak to you distinctly and clearly. Amen. Read. That in the latter times, uh -huh. some shall depart from the faith. Now, in the latter times, which we're living in now, some shall be what? Depart. Which means some shall abandon. Uh, abandon, turn away from the what? The faith. Amen. So, 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 what it's really saying here is that they knew truth. They grew up in truth. Huh? But, but they turned deliberately away from. Huh? They knew it. They lived it. Mm -hmm. uh, but they abandoned it. Mm -hmm. yes. Which means they turned away from it. Mm -hmm. And that a bad thing to be in there. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. A lot of people that do that, they lose confidence. Yeah. In the Holy Ghost. Mm. They lose their confidence. That's why the Bible says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, wow. which have great recompense of reward. Yeah. But people turn from that. They, they lose confidence in what God is able to do for them. My Lord. You don't ever want to turn away uh, from truth. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 with one disciple, when Jesus was dealing with the multitude and, and, and they got him love because he was revealing truth to them. Mm -hmm. He said, you got to eat of my flesh mm -hmm. and drink of my love. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and they got love of them. Yeah. We got to watch out when we get a Alright, now notice, notice. He said, now, 
The Spirit speaketh expressly, clearly, distinctly, in the latter time, notice, some shall depart, meaning abandon, which means to turn away from. What are they turning away from? Truth. 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 So they, they know truth, yeah. uh, but, but somewhere they got deceived. Mm. Uh, and they started rejecting. Mm. And this verse literally means they turned away from. Turned away from. Mm. My God. We don't ever want to turn away from God. Mm -mm. We don't ever want to turn away from the Word. Mm -mm. Uh, and that's what I was saying. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, when Jesus was dealing with his disciples, and he told them that they had to eat of his flesh and drink of his blood, some got what? Offended. Uh, they got offended. Get a bunch of you. Uh, 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 get offended at the word. Right. Yeah. Right. I thought the Holy Ghost was speaking about you. You know when you know when you're offended at the word, when you hear it, you don't want to do it. When you hear it, you say it don't bother me. When you hear it and say, well, all this so and so is here. Oh, my God. 
down.
Huh? Yeah. He knows how. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Huh? Ain't no harm. Ain't no harm. Amen. the anointed one of God and he came after him. Came after him. Yeah. Tempted after him. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? My sister? I remember uh, Elder Lisa when yeah. he was in the nursing home mm -hmm. and uh, we were visiting and stuff and people asked him they said, do the, do the devil ever stop? Do, do he, is he still bothering you now? That you that you in here, you know, is he still you done you've been on the, on his way for such a long time. Do he still bother? He said more than ever. Yeah. And that's a proper strategy for the devil, right? Yeah. Because he's a heart for you got to go and receive his crown. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he ever said, well, you know, time is short. If you be a part of the devil, you're about to receive your blessing. started being more quiet. Yeah. And then she would, it's like almost, I remember she said, she would taste her words. Mm. She she wouldn't say everything that came to her right. mind. She would taste her words. And then at the end, I remember the day before she passed away, we were coming through going to Cleveland. And I told her, I said, I'll be back. Don't you leave till I get back. And she didn't even... She didn't even say anything. She just looked at me in my face and nodded her head. Mm -hmm. And she didn't leave till I came back. Thank you, Jesus. But it was just a thing. Saints know when they get ready to leave. Mm -hmm. right. And it was just something to see her go from this vibrant person, mm -hmm. knowing that she was on her way out. And then it, little by little, she just, just gradually, if you wasn't paying attention, you wouldn't even catch on. Yeah. But just gradually, she would stop mm -hmm. doing certain things. She would stop watching so much TV. Then it was always she wanted to listen to the music or she wanted to play her Bible tape. She didn't want to hear yeah. nothing else she was talking about. And then before she passed away, she wasn't even talking. She wouldn't even, she would see you and acknowledge you by nodding her head. She wouldn't even talk. And so that means she was on, she knew she was on her way. And she was making herself ready. And that's what we got to do every single day. You have to make yourself ready every day because you don't know when. We don't know when. The beauty, uh, one beautiful thing during that council, uh, I was sitting there 
something about Bishop uh, uh, Walker, and you know, his body is straight, but his mind is on the script. Come on now, yeah. I know that's right. Oh, yeah. 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 That mind is in. Yeah. It's the righteousness of God. Yeah. You know, and, and oh, that's yeah. what that's what's gonna uh, the, the righteousness that's within us when Jesus say, Come my people, that's what's gonna draw us to him. Yes. You know, the word and the righteousness which which produce the righteousness of God. Absolutely. You know, mm, yeah. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Because uh, I'm getting ahead of myself in the Bible study, but the Bible said the kingdom of heaven, no, it's not me and the truth. Huh? Huh? Because a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on trying to worship God through meats and drinks. Oh, yeah. huh? Yeah. Huh? But it's righteousness, mm -hmm. love, peace, and joy. What? In the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. So it's not this external stuff. No. It's the internal stuff. Come on now. Come on. Huh? Meat and drink can't bring you for a Come on. It can't make you live home. Mm -mm. Uh, you need all the cheap food. Come on. Uh, I know that. <laughs> it ain't gonna make you home. Uh, but eat the word. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Drink the word. Yes. Develop a hunger and a thirst after righteousness. Yes. Uh, and he shall be Yes. Thank you. Uh, am I right? That's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. Ah, 
Amen? Amen. Notice what it said. Uh, seducing spirits and what? Doctrines of devils. Not the devil as a doctrine. A teaching. My Lord. Huh? Mm -hmm. And his doctrine is the opposite of the doctrine of truth. You follow? Yes. You can't compromise truth. No. What do I mean by that? The truth is the truth. He shall know the truth, and he shall make you what? Free. Free, right? But if you take heed to the doctrine of the devil, it's going to bring you into what? Bondage. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. God tells you to go right. The devil tells you to go left. Am I right? God tells you to humble yourself. The devil's doctrine is for you to exalt yourself. Don't they know who I am? Mm -hmm. uh, I got to take all that. Mm -hmm. Huh? Follow? Mm -hmm. Doctor the devil. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't need to be with the saints. I have to be by myself. Mm -hmm. uh, Doctor the devil. Yeah. God, I never told you to be by yourself. The doctrine of the devil, he'll, 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 uh, what's the word I want, Lord? He'll send confirmation uh, of, of, of his evil doctrine. Right? So I tell Sister Queen, Sister Queen, you know, uh, you, you, you know, you, you somebody, so you know, you don't need to listen to your husband all the time because God gave you a mind. You know, your own mind. You know what I mean? So, you know. And all that head business, you know, God didn't really mean that. He just meant that, you know, that, so that you know, that your husband should help you and not you really helping him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's what that's about. Okay? Now, he'll send him to her to confirm that. Because the spirits communicate. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. And then she'll get somewhere when she mad at me. <coughs> And say, huh, you know, that was right. I ain't got to listen to him. Mm -hmm. uh, who we think he is anyway? You know, he always causes him trouble. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm tired of him anyway. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, that's how the doctrine of devils work. Uh, since confirmation. Why? Because that's how God works. God will send you a word of confirmation. God will send you a word of encouragement and strength. Huh? So, so the devil, he'll operate on the devil. But the devil will work in opposite. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Huh? God, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My sister. And the devil is so seductive yeah. that he will even give you a scripture. Yeah. You, 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 it is completely out of context. Woo! You know, but you have a, you have, he'll show you how to connect it to what you want to connect it to, to uh, uh, be, be self-righteous, to do it the way you want to do it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because what? He transforms yes. himself. Yes. Uh, into an angel of God. Now, uh, for an individual to bring my wife that kind of prayer, uh, first, uh, that individual is going to try to seduce her with her over in friendship. Uh -huh.
be a cheerleader in your fall too. That's it. If they cheer you on, do it, do it, do it. And then when you fall, they can be like, kill yourself. You should just kill it. Do it, do yeah. it, do it. Yeah. So you know what? I love you, that's true. Go ahead. I, I'm, I, so seducing spirits are nothing but a bunch of lies, huh? Lies! Yeah. And, and the spirits that tell lies. Mm -hmm. yeah. The truth ain't in the middle of the truth. Yes. But it ain't in it. Yes. It can't live all. Yes. It's no fit. Mm. It'll take your hands off. <laughs> come on, come on. Let's go get you a car. Yeah. So you can do it again. Mm. Because you're suffering. Yeah. And it's gonna help. <laughs> and it's gonna help. Yeah. <laughs> That's the truth of the spirit. Gay, lesbian, 
Jesus. Hallelujah. This is good teaching. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Be open. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Be led by the Spirit of God. Yes. Yes. No one sees it through me. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Some people came to Paul and said, hey, He said he made intercession. He said, he said Jesus. Uh -huh. 
And he said it stopped. Stop. But he said he saw that hot iron going to that person's head. Wow. And he just said, Jesus. Wow. He said, they beg God, and it just went, went back. Mm -hmm. People, people whose conscience is seared, they just keep on sinning. Some point they've gone too far. Yeah, that's it. Just keep on. It's a habit. Habitual mm. sin. No feeling. No feeling. That's it. No feeling. Yeah. What a word. We we got godly fear. Yeah. 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 So you lose the ability. Some some stuff I don't do or say to you, not because I don't want to, because I'm afraid. Right. Let me out. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I don't want to get me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, sometimes I can be uh, in a heated conversation with somebody. I can just shut my mouth. Oh yes, man. Because I don't want too far. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Fear. Mm -hmm. You got what? Fear. What the hell? No, no fear in it. My brother, he's a paraplegic, and 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 uh, one day he was uh, uh, running a tub of water, and and he turned the hot water on uh, and put his foot under it. He didn't have no feeling. Didn't know that that water was burning his foot. Jesus. Uh, until he put, picked it up and looked at it, and the flesh was falling off. Hmm? Didn't say ouch. Didn't say nothing. No fear. Y'all hear me? So we don't know when to get to the point where our conscience is seared with no fear. The heart That's a scary person to be around. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to be around that type of person.
This ain't, this ain't popular teaching, but it's right. Yeah. right. <laughs> Go ahead. There's a scripture bishop in the Old Testament where the people had to found themselves trying to make sacrifices to God, and they were going about to burn their children. Bad boys! And God told them, this never even came into my mind for you to do this. Yeah! I never told you to do this. Yeah! Neither, neither did it ever enter in my mind. My God. People, like you said, people are telling folks not to get married, don't eat pork, and don't eat this and other. And God said, that never even entered in my mind for you to do that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, it is a what? A doctrine of God. All right? Yes. Uh, just trying to get y'all to see what is the doctrine of devil, because when it comes to you, you'll know what it is. Yes. Don't think that we're not teaching this for any reason. Uh, there is a reason. A reason. Huh? God wants us to be alert. Mm -hmm. He wants us to be aware. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if when you walk out the door. The doctrine of the devil will pop up your mind. Uh, be on guard. Why? All right, my sister, we got to move on. We got two more That's just like the, um, the campaign in right now. Everybody fighting. They mad because the oh, way man. can turn in the favor of no abortion. And now yeah. every time you turn on something, well, he's voting for abortion. It is our right. We should be able to do what the Lord said before. And the, the, the enemy trying to make me trying to make the women feel like abortion is, is a good thing. It's not a good thing. Let me, let me be honest. I'm so sick and tired of politics. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The, way, the way they go about doing things now yeah. is, is horrible. It is. Uh, it is. Uh, they used to disagree, but yet they agree. Right. right. Now, the guy is, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Go you know what I'm saying? That ain't good. Ain't good for America. It's not. I know it was Jesus. But if Abraham Lincoln said, uh, according to Jesus, a house divided against itself. It's not safe. So how long do you think America going to stay? Right. Huh? I'm going to be like Jeremiah Wright before the chickens come home to roost. <laughs> <laughs> covered a lot of ground. Mm -hmm. 